So do you think people actually want objectivity or are, we, are, are, are people in media just giving people what they want? That's a good question. I mean, if you look at what pays the bills, I don't, I don't know about the, the New York Times sort of finances, but if you look at, you know, top stories or whatever, you're probably, for most sites, you're probably going to find that the, that the stories that most people read are the highly opinionated, um, controversial, sort of maddening hate reads, and less the, the piece about the school board meeting or whatever. Yeah. So do you think regulation is appropriate in this environment? Where, where does, well, how do you, how do you make steps toward walking back some of the crazy? I don't know that re regulation is appropriate in part because look at who the regulators are, I, you know, maybe yeah. in some sense, like, I think that like the FCC, if they're talking about things like, you know, regulating um, mergers, like that's appropriate, obviously. Like we do not want Sinclair to own every local television station in America, mm -hmm. but should regulators be dictating what a private business does within their pages? I have a bigger problem with that. If the, you know, if the private business isn't getting any, some sort of government funding, I think with, you know, if you, if you accept government funding, there should be some sort of maybe some some uh some strings attached but if you're a private company um i'm not so sure about that yeah i'm just concerned about the the reward cycle of you know the if it bleeds it leads but like times totally. a billion right yeah. and you know the more emotional the more polarizing the more accusatory you're going to make more money you're going to get you're going to get more attention right yeah and there's no movement yet for like sustainable discourse. Right. It's actually going to be healthy long term and constructive. Right. And so why would anyone choose it as a consumer? Why would you choose it when you can be told that you're right and that you're on the good team and the other team is bad? Right. You know, yeah. Why as a media organization, would you try to bring objectivity uh, to, to an issue? What is the incentive? What is the payoff for anybody to choose a healthier way of existing? That's the question.